submit to God, you know, it's going to, because he said, he told us, he said that God is not mocked, right? So, yeah, if you sow to the flesh, you're going to reap in the flesh. If you sow to the spirit, you're going to reap in the spirit. You can, you can sow and reap. It depends on, you can reap sparingly or sow sparingly. You know what I'm saying? That's a diverse word, but he said, and workmen that needed. Man, my God. When you work that word. Man, a work in the word. Skill in the word of righteousness. Able to balance the old and the new. Able to look into the Torah. Able to look into the graphic. Able to say, Holy Spirit, you've been sitting in the earth as my tutor, my governor, my teacher. You've given me leaders to help me, guide me through that battle. You got to work it, though. Can't be passive. Can't be lazy. Only church folks are lazy. Any other religion in the earth, everybody, Muslims, <clears throat> no more scripture than you do. People got of other faith know more about our faith than we do. Because we want the man to tell us what it is in the pulpit. So Sundays and Wednesdays we come together, we let whoever's in the pulpit tell us what God is there. And now all of a sudden we still stuck with the old paradigm of Catholicism and the priestcraft. When we won't go in ourselves. Same thing they said in Exodus 19. In Exodus 20. Moses, you talk to us. Because if he talked to us, talk about God, we're going to die. But preachers keep talking to us, we'll never die. If God has to get a word to you through a preacher, you ain't dying. The way you die, God speaks to you one on one. Oh, yeah, I, I know, I know. See, that messes everybody up. I'm gonna bring it to the, I'm gonna bring it to the apostle and let him speak the word. Tonight gonna be my night. And God's gonna do something to me. No, I give you a seed, but I plant. But then somebody got a water, and God gives the increase. And when you go home, you get along with the guy and say, "Hey, my pastor said so and so." Then God said, "Yeah, he's right." And by the way, since you need another scripture because you ain't convinced, here go one. And then you go study, and then you find out, you say, oh, that's connected to over here. Yes. Then that's connected to over here. Then you say, okay, God, you ain't finished yet. You just opened up my eyes, so now you need to educate me on the ways of the Lord. Wow. That's why he sent this spirit into the earth. Yes. Yeah. Amen. He gives the finishing touches, not me. I just opened up the door for you, that's all. Yes. I just sow seeds. I, I make sure the ground is right. That's all I do. In closing, I don't know if you guys can see this book. I put it in the group. Those that are not here with us tonight. Yeah. See this book here? This is one of the books I've been kind of pushing. You need this book. If you're, talking, talk, if you're a tongue talker, it's a very minimal price. You can get it off of uh, Amazon. Put this in your hands, 94 pages. But her, one thing about her pages, her words are, you know what I'm saying, so it's big fonts. So don't, don't, you know, people are like, well, that's too many pages. No, it's big fonts. When you look at the fonts, these are not 12s. These are probably 14 and 16. You can get through that in a couple of days. I'm just saying. Yeah, huh? Yeah, it's thin. It is thin. Why I Speak in Tongues by Dr. Clohani Spade. Get it. And then the other one, the Church in the Woodland, the New Testament that I, I asked everybody, and I got a few answers. If you want to get to know me, those that are watching, if you want to know how we roll here, that's the best way to do it. Some good training wheels in that book. Very deep stuff as well, not just foundational stuff. But it can help you to assimilate what it means to be in the kingdom culture. Father, we bless you tonight. Thank you for this word. You're doing something in the midst of us. I never, never get frustrated with talking about the most important person in the earth. He has been sitting in the earth to help us, to educate us, and to do things that we can't do on our own. There's some things we can't do on our own that only the Holy Spirit can do. And I pray as a people that we learn to not lean on our own understanding, but acknowledge you in all of our ways. Said the manifestation of that acknowledgement that you will lead us, guide us, 
that you would direct our path. What a fantastic blessing. I pray that it becomes more than just something on the pages. Thank you for Pentecost. Which was an event. Much more than that event. We thank you for the lifestyle that Pentecost represents. Of people that have taken on the nature of the Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.